Hello guys, welcome. Welcome back on a technology welfare. Let's learn and watch with practical in this tutorial how to downgrade, how to go back to iOS 15, 16, 16.5 from iOS 17. Without data loss, yes, you can downgrade from 17 to 16.5, 15 hours. So how do you do it? Let's dive in. So just we will tap in a setting, setting to, especially we will come in general, in general to click on a software update and it has started to check it out. It's a saying that it's a 17 hours up to date, so we don't have any opportunity to downgrade it. So for it guys, if we don't have any opportunity then, of course with the help of laptop or computer, just we will go for an administrator that is a reboot tool. There is tool especially designed to fix the various kind of the iOS issues. Here, first feature is a exit and enter the recovery mode. With the one clicks from any Apple device, you can exit from the recovery mode as well as, of course, you can push into the recovery mode. Second is, of course, here as we see, the reset options. You can the reset any Apple device with one clicks here by using this tool and more than 100 yes more than 150 plus issues that can be fixed also by using tools so for example your device is stuck on Apple logo iPhone rebooting again and again as well as black screen is the coming yeah, iOS has been damaged so various kind of this can be fixed but right now of course we have to go with the this feature that is uh, for downgrade yes we will select this one downgrade option and we will start to click here to insert so now see it has recommended that 16.5.1 iOS is ready for you yeah. so just we will initiate to a downgrade let's see so now it has started to verify after verifying of course it will so see guys here it's on a 17 and we will see how it works successfully and can I yes raise successfully on a 16.5 hours so now it's a verifying and the 21 percent is of course uh, verified so just a more within the five to ten minutes especially the whole the processor can be done and you have to do nothing guys everything can be rendered by itself on this tool now see it has started to a downgrade now this device has been started to see go in a dfu mode now it's in a DFU mode, automatically it's doing everything, so guys. Now see guys here, it has just started to load this IPSW or iOS back on especially this Apple device. So now we have to do nothing, just it will do everything by itself guys.
So guys, we have done successfully, especially this uh, downgrade procedure has been uh, completed now. So of course, we can click here to uh, done. And uh, now see this phone will reboot once again. After rebooting, of course, we will show you that successfully it has been raised on a 16.5 or not. So just we will have to wait for 5 to 10 seconds, then of course. We will come with this. So, see guys, just we will go for next, next to set up later. Now, as we see, the once again, if I click on a setting, setting to just we will come general, general to a about as well as of course the can the come software update also and we can see here 16 iOS or 17 so right now see guys here 16.5.1 is uh, right now downgraded and to know more detail about this tool you can visit on this website that is a reboot especially that has been designed by tinosea.com and of course, this can be utilized to fix the various kind of the iTunes error also like that is 4013, 4005 with a simple click. And yes, of course, it will be a functional all on all iOS version and the device, including with the latest iOS beta or all the iOS model, tell the patterns. So now see here, of course. See here, iOS. 16.5 and now it's recommending for 17 iOS to down sorry upgrade so if i go in the about here you can see also this is a 16.5 so this is all about in this video tutorial guys thank you thank you very much indeed have a great time bye bye